What is up, everybody? My name is Levi, and you're watching Cooked Grunt. Okay, I re I released a short recently of how to make uh, this. <laughs> and I, sadly, on shorts and YouTube, you can't really, you only have a minute of time to work with, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this more in depth. Um, I am playing with a few mods. Mods don't affect anything. I am actually going to use a modded gun though, just to show you this works with about everything. So, you want to go, ooh, wait, hold on. You want to have a fat man, and it has to, you have to have unlocked the Merv launcher, and the way you unlock the Merv launcher is by reaching a certain level, or by getting a fat man with a Merv launcher. There's a spot where you can steal one. It's a little difficult to get to though. You can also join the Brotherhood of Steel and get it, but that's a hassle. So what you want to do is, let me just rename this to my six. So I'm going to be using this modded Glock. I'm going to rename it. So you want the weapon that you want to have the Merv launcher on, named 1. And you want the Fat Man. Well, I guess you could name the one you want the Merv launcher on any number, but you want the Fat Man to be one number less than that. So I'm going to name the Fat Man 0. So now the Fat Man is directly above the 1. So when I scrap it, it'll automatically switch to 1. So if I hit Scrap and Modify at the same time... Whoops. Bear with me. Okay, I'm back. Um, so you really want to press them at the exact same time, otherwise that will happen. I would recommend pressing modify just ever so slightly, like a millisecond before you press scrap. So, dang it! <laughs> Luckily, I have plenty of spares. Uh, really, in the short, it was my first time recording it, and it worked perfectly. Come on. This is humiliating. Nope. Ah! Okay. Modify. Just press scrap. Yeah, okay. Why? <laughs> this is embarrassing. How much of this video is just gonna be me? <laughs> I'm down to my last fat man. Alright, please work. Zero done. Haha, oh. -ha! there we go. So you see, I'm both in the modification and the scrap item. You press A. Don't touch anything else, immediately press on the next thing. And then there's the Merv launcher. Now then, I'm not sure if I can customize anything else without messing this up. It's only... okay. <laughs> I just want to change the magazine size to 50 rounds. Ah, yes! Okay, the broken thing about this is it doesn't use many nukes. So it uses whatever ammo the gun uses. So, with this new weapon, it would be using 10mm. The reason you want to use a pipe pistol is it is the easiest ammo to come across. It's cheap. This one has a little red dot. So, I, so now with this... Hold up. Ah, I'm out of ammo. Oh well. I do have a cheat mod downloaded, but believe me, this does not come from the cheat mod. Try it yourself with no mods, just to prove it. Oh, I don't have it on full auto. Oh well. <laughs> you can do this with pretty much any gun. Like, so long as it's not a melee weapon, you can do it with any gun. As far as I'm aware. You know what? Why not? Just for kicks and giggles, we're going to try it with a flare gun. 
um, just to see if this works. I'm out of fat mans again. Now, using this exploit, I have just created Doom Guys Double Barrel Shotgun. <laughs> Aiming is a little broken, but that's to be expected. He just pretty much hot glued <laughs> a Merv launcher onto any weapon. The minigun is what it works best with, actually. Like, it doesn't look half bad. Just sort of a stumpy barrel. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay. Did I die? Or did the game crash? I think I died. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm going to try to do more exploit videos. But if you want absurdly good exploit videos, two people I would recommend. Skyrim mods, I would recommend, and Skyrim and Fallout, sometimes, I would recommend the YouTuber ESO. And his name is kind of a pain in the back to find now, because ESO is thought of as Elder Scrolls Online. And he came up with that name before the Elder Scrolls Online was a thing. <laughs> so his channel is a little hard to find. So... He might not be the best option. The other one that does a lot of exploits is the Spiffing Brit. He covers pretty much any game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.